This is my tutorial number five. It's titled How to Make a Continuous Moving Background. Start with a new document. We'll have no outside color using the rectangular tool. I'm going to pick up a sky and cover a little more than the top half. Just a little more than the top half. Then I'm going to pick up a second color for my sand. And again, my rectangular tool and fill in the bottom. We're going to call this layer BG, background contains my sky and my sand. New layer, mount, as in mountains. Mount. And I'm going to use my brush with a dark color. And I want a reasonable size brush. And I'm going to just draw a little mountain range in here. I'm going to pick up a lighter color with my brush and a smaller and I'm going to put some highlights on my my different mountain ranges here. I want this to look like it goes down like that. I have them all coming back like that. So you get some kind of okay, you can do as much as you wish. I'm going up here and I'm going to lock the background. Select frame one, and you see how they're all selected, but just in case they're not, under edit, I'm going to go select all. I'm going to move my selection tool around until it gets what I call the crosshairs. Right click and copy that whole entire section. And I'm going to put a new layer in here called loop. And I'm going to lock mountain range, lock that. So the only thing that's opened is loop. And I'm actually going to turn off so you can't see that mountain range. And when I do my paste in place, you can actually see now that we have two a duplicate set of this mountain. Unlock the loop and I'm going to turn this into one big object up here, my loop. Convert to symbol, graphic, loop. And watch what happens here. This becomes one item. With this frame on loop selected, I'm now going to get ready to tween. My right key, I'm going to move that over over and leave a little gap in here that I'm going to fill. A new layer. Let's call this the fill layer. And in here you're going to draw some mountains to join those two together. Have the fill done. And now we're going to get ready to tween this. Up here I'm going to unlock these three layers. And you can see I'm now going to select all and make this all one symbol. And I'm going to call it mountains. Mount range. It is. Now, right click, copy it, above fill put a new layer called mountain range, mount range, and delete the layer called fill, delete the layer called loop, Delete the layer called Mount. And in the 
this here mountain range a new one come down right click paste in place and there's our mountains now it's time to tween it a new layer called marker and I want to bring this in closer and on this mountain here is the first mountain find a unique spot and draw a line and I'm going to use that spot right between there. I want to move it, my, my line a little bit. Make sure that mount and BG is locked. There's my marker right there. Go over to frame 400. Click on it and drag it down. Three frames and insert keyframe. Now shift this entire m mountain, unlock mountain. I'm going to shift this mountain until this cross here is right here, this this line we made. So left shift, left shift, left shift, left shift close it's right there so make it larger so I can get it right on I add a little bit more a little bit more right there and that should be pretty well it go back to frame one click the mountain and do a tween Let's test this, see what it looks like. We'll remove this layer that contains this marker. And you can see it's moving along quite well, and it will keep doing this. I hope you use this tutorial.